I think it's so great for people to hear that, man, fear is not fear is not a sign that it's a mistake. I don't think so. It it may be a mistake, mm-hmm. but man, I don't know. To me, movement mm-hmm. makes some kind of move toward when your soul. Again, we talk about James Hollis, the living, yeah. the examined life guy, and Carl Jung. The Jungian guys are all big that there is something down here besides your mind. Right. doesn't matter if you want to call it your soul, your psyche. Mm -hmm. The Greeks call it psyche. But when that is speaking up, you got to pay attention to that. And I I would even go so far as to say I think a lot of the misery in the world is ignoring that. Yeah. And I think that... It sounds like you're a guy that does not ignore that. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do... I do pay attention to that. Um, you know, I because I work with you on this podcast, it's kind of weird, by the way, to sit in the <laughs> guest chair on a podcast that I produce for you. I, can I just say super quick before I forget Please. how honored I am that you even asked me to do this? Like, oh, man. We've got, you've got some great guests on this show. So I, I, but, of course, I always enjoy conversations with you, whether we're recording it or not. Um, well, I, there are certain people in my life, and there's not, not a ton of them. Yeah. And I know him when I meet him now. Yeah. I'm of an I'm of an age that now you like. Whoa! I want to get to know that person. You were one of those people. Thank you. Stepping out, following mm-hmm. maybe what your guts are telling you. I don't mind that. I like that. You like that. I do. I'm glad that that shows up. Uh, that it affects other people. I don't always think about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that sure. It, that it does. It's so natural, right? Yeah. And I've had people who I'm close to who after, uh, you know, a big transition or whatever, they'll comment on that and, oh, that's, that's so great. And then, oh, uh, you, you don't even sometimes think mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. But I think that this is something that I've thought about as we've been going down this particular road with this podcast and with your audience, I want them to know, you mentioned the word mistake earlier. There is a, I think one of the biggest fears it's attached to the word mistake. Like what if I'm, what if I've just made a a huge mistake or what if I'm about to make a huge mistake? And I would actually challenge and question like, what is a mistake? Like, wow, that's good. What, what is it that is so, is a mistake something that uh, destroys your life or is, is it something that just teaches you about today and so tomorrow you you shift and you pivot but mistakes mm. in career I I don't know mm. that there are mistakes in trying different things if that's who you are if you mm. are trying mm. to experience different things yes then something that's particularly tough or hits a, a dead end was that a mistake or was that just part of the experience part of the experience and i i was i was talking to my daughter on the way here today i drop her off at school every morning and i told her i said hey lionel is actually talking to me today on the podcast and i said maybe it'd be better if you tell me super quick like how would you explain to someone why I do what I do, like what's your observation? Good of it? source. And she said, "Well, I, she said you love to tell stories," <laughs> and she said, "And you're all about relationships." She said, "That's why you yes. do Dad Matters, which is my yes. own podcast." Um, yeah, I want to talk about that in a minute. Sure, in depth. Uh, and, and and even when I dropped her off, I thought that's really it. Plus one more thing, I my life pretty much circles around relationships, storytelling, and identity. Wow. And and to me, storytelling is connected to experiences and relationships are connected to experience. Yes. And my identity is connected to my experiences. So to me, I don't really think about career choices or, or things of that nature or big life turns because 20 years from now, even if I'm not wanting to do what I'm doing at the moment mm-hmm. or want to get out of that completely, mm-hmm. There's such gratitude and and looking back on that as like, oh, that really helped me define this particular thing for myself. 